Hello everybody and welcome back to another e-bike video. Um, so this is more of a review video. So we've had this bike built for approximately two weeks now. Um, we haven't had it as long as we've had the Nactigo electric bike. But this is more of like a review and kind of like a side by side comparison of the two. So this bike is a 36 volt 500 watt e-bike build. Um, I built it myself. Um, I did have some problems with the pedal assist sensor, I don't know if you can see it on camera. But uh, the sensor down here is just hanging right here. If y'all can see that. Uh, okay. um, so due to the fact of the way that the pedals work on this bike, since it's a cruiser, um, we couldn't put the pedal assist sensor on but just because of the way the ring um, fits onto those pedals. It moves with it instead of like a mountain bike where it, the ring doesn't, the ring that holds in the pedals, it doesn't move with it. So um, I don't know if you understand that. But I'll definitely have that explained in another video when I'm doing another e-bike build. Um, so this bike is a lot of fun. It doesn't have like the key or anything that that one does. It just has an online switch. Um, as for range, it has a really nice range. We've gotten approximately 30, 40 miles on it um, without an issue. Um, it handles hills really well. It does have a lot of power. Um, it probably goes faster at times than the Nacto just because of the way that it has fat tires on that bike and it's a lot heavier of a bike. Um, but this one does really well. Um, it's lighter, it's just an average bike, so it handles really well. It does really good. Um, it has a 16 amp hour battery, so it does have a lot longer range than the Nacto does. But it's still a really good bike. This one, the kit cost $150 and the battery cost $130. So it was around $280, it wasn't bad. Um, it was definitely a lot cheaper than that bike, but that bike, it, it does ride a lot better, like faster speeds, but this one also rides really easy, it's not rough or anything, and it was definitely really worth it, and it's a lot quieter since that does have the fat tires, it does have a lot more road noise. Um, but this one, it cruises really easily, it does really good. Um, it does have tight brakes though because it was a newer bike when we got it. Um, it's handled really well. The only issues we've had with it was a flat tire and that wasn't the e-bike's fault. Um, we have done really long trips with it along uh, hills and stuff again, state park roads, stuff like that. And it does really, really well. It's, it's an easy cruiser. It goes up hills really well. It handles pretty well. Um, we haven't actually had to push it up any hills. Like we did that one just because it's heavier. But um, the bike handles really well as long as you stay within the bike's weight limit of uh, the ride capacity of it, then you'll be generally fine. That one does have a higher ride capacity um, just because of bigger tires. But overall, it does well. Um, I've gotten speeds on it around 25 30 miles per hour. Uh, it doesn't have any speed caps or anything like that one does. But we overrode the speed caps on that one in the computer. So um, it char this charger that we do have for it is a two amp charger. It is pretty slow just because of the 16 amp hour battery. It does take forever if you completely kill the battery. But so far we actually haven't like completely drained the battery um, all the way from after a charge. Uh, when we got it in, we did completely drain it, and it struggled towards the end. But it wasn't too bad. Overall, it's a very good bike. It was definitely worth the $300 that we put into it, or around $300 that we put into it, the tax and everything. So, it was definitely worth it. It's a, it's a fun, nice bike. If you're looking at getting an e-bike, I would suggest this kit. Uh, we'll leave the kits in the description like I did the build video. If you want to see the build video, go check that out. I'll have it at the end of the screen and the end of this video. And yeah, overall, it was really good. Um, personally, I would want a higher powered motor, but this build I did build for my mother, um, just because she wanted a cruiser bike and she wanted an electric bike to keep up, and so yeah, we built this bike for her. So this is kind of her build, but I built it, if that makes sense. Um, the gas bike is definitely a lot faster if you're looking for speed, but this does again have more torque uh, than the gas bike just because the gas bike is, has a smaller motor, but overall it handles really well. And it's really easy to handle, so it's pretty good. Um, go check that video out of the build. Um, again, it'll be at the end. But yeah, pretty good bike. I would suggest getting it. 
and I'll see y'all in the next video. If you want to help out the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like, and I hope y'all enjoyed. See you later.